everybody, Jason here from Ghostbusters News, and today we're going to be taking a look at a bucket list worthy collectible, the 190th scale Sakuda Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man. Now I am sure that some of you, you've never actually heard of this rendition of Stay Puffed, as it was only released in Japan in the mid-1980s. Now I've actually had this Stay Puff figure, this model, whatever you want to call it, for a little while now as I received it as a gift uh, this past December for Christmas. And around that time, I shared a post to Instagram of it and ever since then, like weekly, I've had people messaging me, Jason, are you gonna feature that Sakuda Stay Puffed? Well, yeah, of course, that's what we're gonna be doing here today. But before I crack open that box and we show off this 17 inch tall incarnation of Stay Puft, I should let you know back in the mid 1980s, Sakuda they released a couple of other Ghostbusters collectibles. And this included a six inch version of Stay Puft, as well a Terra Dog that clocked in at 11 inches in length. Thus far, I haven't bought either of these, but I gotta admit, I've, I've got a bit of an itch and I think I'm gonna need to scratch it. I need them. Okay, so again, this Stay Puft out of the box, he is 17 inches in height, and being that he is so big, obviously the box that he comes in is huge. And let me say, being that this box is 40 years old, I think the condition of it, it's not too bad. It's got the Ghostbusters branding up top, it simply just says Marshmallow Man. And then we've got that now iconic image of Stay Puft walking through the streets of New York City. Now taking Stay Puft out of the box here, in case you already didn't know, I mean I alluded to it earlier, but yeah, he is a hobby model kit, meaning that you are supposed to paint him. Something that uh, clearly hasn't been done, and also something that I don't know if I can bring myself to do. Now despite not being painted, it's pretty evident here that this sculpt, it is highly detailed. I mean seriously, this is one of the most perfect renditions of the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man when you compare him to what's seen in the original film. I mean, just look at that angry, adorable little face. And speaking of the face, Sakuda, they actually included an alternate head. So you could either choose to have your Stay Puft happy or angry. Now going back to some of the detail work here, of course, Stay Puft, he's got his sailor's garb on, he's got his hat on top of his head. And I love the fact that that Stay Puft branding is actually sculpted. You also find there is the blue detail and also the red ribbon in the hat. And it should be noted that those details, they do come separate here. Uh, you can see with the happy face, I've yet to actually attach that ribbon to the hat. Now articulation, there's not really too much to go over. I mean, that's pretty typical of Stay Puft Marshmallow Man figures. Uh, the head, there's a little bit of swivel. The arms at the kind of pudgy marshmallow elbow joints. Yeah, they can be moved around there. And then the legs, uh, yeah, there's a little bit of movement down there. Given that this model is nearly 40 years old, I'm sure you've already noticed there is some slight yellowing throughout the body. Also, that happy head is an entirely different shade of white. I mean, it's not really white anymore. It is yellow. And I guess I could get rid of some of that by bleaching the figure or just covering it up entirely by painting it. But I gotta admit, I kinda dig the aged look. But what I wanna know is what do you think? Should I keep the figure as is? Or maybe give him a full paint job? Comment down below and let me know. Now with all that said, that does it today for our look at the Sakuda 190th scale Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man. As always, be sure to subscribe. If you'd like to join up with Ghostbusters news, check out our Patreon page. A link to that is down below in this video's description. And we'll see you right back here next time.